Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'll be chatting with Ben Bowlby, the LMP1 Team Principal and Technical Director for the Nissan GTR LM Nismo. So what was the philosophy behind putting the engine towards the front and then driving the front wheels with that engine? I think um, like all things in the modern world we are governed by rule books and in motorsport the um, thing to do is to extract a maximum amount of performance from the particular set of regulations. So you see an enormous amount of aero work going on, um, in, you know, generally speaking a lot of engine work and a lot of tyre development, but you know, all within the prescribed box. And so um, what we did with the Nissan Nismo was to look at where were the most, um, if you like, low hanging fruit. What, what could we get our hands on if we were prepared to innovate and start from a clean sheet of paper? And one of the things we recognized was that um, the front of the car has a um, great deal of aerodynamic freedom and um, we thought about how we could maximize that aerodynamic uh, potential and balance it for making um, a high performance car. You have to move the weight forwards if you're going to use the uh, a forward aero balance and you better have a forward weight, uh, forward tire distribution. And so obviously tire size maximum is limited. Mm -hmm. So that meant, okay, go smaller rear. Now for Le Mans, which is not like Sebring, for example, um, which is bumpy and tight and twisty. Le Mans is long straights, quick changes of direction, another long straight. We, we decided that we could actually get a really good drag reduction if we went to smaller rear tires. And then when we looked at that, we said, hang on, we should just use the engine because we need the weight forwards just to drive the front wheels. And then we would also have a very big advantage in, in being able to recover a lot of energy from the front wheels into because our we more weight on because it. we have weight and aero, so we don't have to recover from two axles at the same time, which is even more complicated than recovering from one axle. But because we wanted the four-wheel drive GTR magic, we would then deploy to the rear. So we designed this car to be able to deploy to the rear. Now at the moment, we're just deploying to the front, um, and we're still, uh, we think, got a car that can be a very competitive car at Le Mans. Um, low drag efficient front downforce, um, huge stability margin, um, a very um, uh, different uh, take on our competitors. So what we're doing, we can show people and we're not kind of giving away tiny secrets that a big organization like Audi, Porsche or Toyota could go, hey, that's a good idea, we'll just copy that. They can look at our car all they like, it doesn't apply. So. That's so does having the narrower tire at the rear, does that also allow you to have a wider diffuser and well, is it more efficient? Not, it doesn't allow us to have a wider diffuser, but what it does is, because the car width is at a maximum um, 1.9 meters, but the tire, instead of being 14 inches wide, becomes 9 inches wide, so the distance, the, 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 the area between the tires, where the tunnel is, grows significantly. So okay. yeah, absolutely right. It helps us both from a drag and a downforce standpoint. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. And it's, you know, I tell you what, this will be my last one. I'm not, I'm going back to doing ordinary cars after this. Because, yeah, you're a busy guy. You went from, yeah, do you know, do, Ziad do, or yeah, Delta Wing yeah, to yeah, to yeah, LMP1 yeah. in what, four years? Yeah, even, even managed to do an aero kit for the LMP2 winning Greaves Jota cars <laughs> as well in between. Low stress. Well, it's, yeah, I think, yeah, stress is de um, defined by the time between when you make a decision and knowing whether it was a good one. And going to Le Mans where you cannot test and you go once a year from the, when you have to convince people that the decisions and the direction you're trying to take them is good, that's a very, very long time. And um, it's very, very stressful because everyone can see it's different. Well, what, if it looks exactly like an Audi, you, you, okay, so you haven't done anything wrong, have you? Because they won Le Mans last year. But doing something like this, have you done it, have you done it right? Are you absolutely sure you should be doing this? And, um, you know, it's tough to, it's a tough call, that one. Yeah, yeah. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you'd like to see more on Nissan's LMP1 car, check out the video description for links to their channel.